This video shows how you can easily assemble a full system model via the Altair Hyperworks Model Build and Assembly workflow. Parts facilitate subsystem level model build and offer representation, revision and configuration management. The first step in the model assembly process is to import the bill of materials or BOM for the subsystem of interest. The BOM file, which optionally can come from your CAD system, stores as metadata all non-geometric attributes associated with each part. Firstly, let's load a fine 5mm mesh representation for parts that are load paths in a crash load case. We can then load a coarser 10mm mesh representation for the rest of the body in white. The skip loaded option ensures that any parts with loaded representations are unaffected and maintained in the session. With that, a 150% model of the body in white subsystem has been loaded into the Hyperworks session. This body in white subsystem contains four configurations, left hand drive, right hand drive, fixed roof and panoramic roof. Each configuration can be activated or deactivated with a single click, depending on which variant is required for a particular analysis load case. The next step in the process is to load the connectors. Like parts, these can also have multiple representations and revisions. When connector realization attributes, also known as connector controls, are assigned, they can be directly realized via the graphics. To create a subsystem for the body in white, the respective parts are simply dragged into the subsystem browser. All parts and their references are associated with the new subsystem and can be easily saved into the subsystem library. Subsystems built in Part Browser can be managed in Subsystem Browser. Analogous to parts, subsystems facilitate representation, revision, and load case management via configurations. The vehicle's other subsystems were modeled externally and saved as includes in a Hypermesh file. We can now import this file into the session to create a full vehicle model. Hyperworks allows for easy creation of subsystems from models via drag and drop of entities such as includes. Multiple subsystems can be created simultaneously, resulting in a one-to-one -one mapping of includes to subsystems, or all includes can be merged into a single subsystem. These subsystems can then be saved into the subsystem library, which facilitates representation and revision management. The next step is to define load cases via subsystem configurations. Subsystems that are not associated with specific configurations are assumed to be common since they are active in all configurations, and therefore require no special treatment. Subsystems specific to load cases, in this case the right-hand drive offset barrier, the left-hand drive offset barrier, and side pole, are defined as separate subsystem sets. Subsystem sets are created by dragging and dropping subsystems into the set view which in this case is limited to load case specific subsystems. The sets are then subsequently dragged into the configuration view to create the required subsystem configurations. After activation of a configuration, we can now export a subset of solver decks for a particular load case. Connectors facilitate the joining of parts and subsystems via three distinct types, general, attachment and subsystem. Connector controls facilitate realization types and ensure consistency and efficiency. We'll now create the bolted connections between the body in white and the left-hand front door. Various realization types can be defined for attachments, and in this case, we'll select a rigid patch. Rigid patch realizations for bolts are supported for Opti-Struct, Radios, and ls Dyna. Since attachment controls are solver neutral, this eliminates one of the largest bottlenecks in the model assembly process. Holes can be selected manually or detected automatically. In this case, the rigid patches will fill the bolt holes on either subsystem, which can be verified by reviewing the realization. Next, the subsystem connectors are created to join the rigid patch pairs. The realized subsystem connectors, which in this case are simply rigid body merge cards, are organized automatically into a specific subsystem. An optional review allows the user to confirm the validity of the realizations. Finally, the rest of the connectors are also realized. The result is an assembled model which can be exported as a subset of solver decks for the desired analysis load case.